When you first turn on your computer, you will see a post screen with a couple of options. It goes quick, so try and watch carefully. The ones you're concerned about are BIOS and boot menu. BIOS takes you into your computer's BIOS settings to boot order, or you can click for the boot menu. Either one will work, and I will show how to do both shortly. Here I've pressed F11 for boot menu, and I see two things, my boot drive and the USB I'm using to install Windows. Yours may look different depending on the amount of drives or disk drives you have. Boot menu is the easiest way to install Windows. Click where your Windows ISO is, either on your disk drive if using a disk, or your thumb drive if USB. Option two is boot order and BIOS. Here I've restarted and pressed F2 for my BIOS and gone over to the boot options. Here you can find all your drives, including USB and disk drives. Set your BIOS priority to be the drive that has your Windows media or ISO. Remember after you install Windows to come back into here and change your boot order to your main boot hard drive to be set first. Whatever option you choose, once you click, you should see the Windows logo and setup is starting. The first window will be language, time and currency, and keyboard layout. Choose a setting that applies to you and your location and click next. This screen may look differently for you, or you may not have it depending on your media. Either way, click the Windows product that matches your Windows key. If you have Windows Home, choose Home. If you have Windows Pro, choose Pro. The next window is where you want to install Windows. If this is a fresh install on a brand new hard drive, or you just want to reformat Windows, this is the same process for both. This is the main boot drive, and this is the Windows system reservation partition that Windows automatically creates. Here we have delete. This deletes the partitions. Here we have format. This formats the partitions. And here we have new. This creates a new partition. If you have more than one drive here, such as a boot drive and an external or internal hard drive just for data connected, be extremely careful here. If you click format on the wrong drive, all your data will be deleted. Even if it's a new hard drive, click the larger portion of that drive and click format. You may not have the system reserved partition, but if you do, format that as well. Now with both formatted, click delete on both of them. Now you should have one partition. Click your drive and click new. It will automatically size it to its max size and then click apply, wait, and then select that drive for the last time and click next and yes. Windows should automatically start to install. Wait for Windows to finish installing. The length of time depends on whether or not you're using an SSD or mechanical drive, disk or USB, USB 2 or USB 3. Just let it finish, it'll eventually be done. Now you're gonna be hit with which region you're in. In my case, I'm in Canada, so I'm gonna select Canada. Just pick the one that applies to you, as well as the keyboard layout that you use. And click Next. Now if you have a Microsoft account and you wanna use it, Put it in here, or you can just use offline account for the traditional username and password. Just click no, and then set up your username. If you don't want to have a password, you can leave it blank and just click next, or you can put a password. This is Cortana, your personal assistant. You can use it if you want. I choose not to use it. And then privacy settings, best to just leave default. Go through, pick which one. And that should be it. Windows 10 should take a couple more minutes and then you should be at your desktop. And that's how you either reformat or install freshly Windows 10. Thanks for watching a straight to the point video. Tutorials without wasting your time.